Hello, my friends. Welcome to Kadoink Studios. I am Kadoink, and I am here today with just the, an awesome game uh, by my friend Jack. Sent to me by Jack. Um, yeah, so Jack sent me this, and uh, he sent me a, a list of replays, and I was looking through them, and I watched this game, and I thought it was awesome, and I thought he did very well. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jack is my really good friend who plays a lot of StarCraft with me, and so I like to cast his games. He is a Silver League Terran player, and he's getting really good. Um, we've definitely, we've played a lot of StarCraft, and I've taught him a lot, and I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed playing StarCraft with him. Uh, so anyway, he is playing on Metalopolis right now as the Blue Terran, and his opponent is the Red Protoss player, Dark Solo. Dark Solo. He sounds like the biggest, baddest bad guy of them all, Dark Solo. He is, uh, not only dark, but he is alone. He is a solo, and definitely being, like, the loner is one of the most, one of the most hardcore evil things ever. So, this game is starting out pretty normal. Jack's putting down his barracks at the normal time. He's getting his supply depot, doing some good old scouting. Um, and his, his friends, uh, his friend, his enemy, Dark Solo, is doing nothing. He's gonna be putting down a gate. Way nope. He's putting down a forge. He's going for the forge first. And is this a forge fast expand? No. Forge fast expand would be just about here. No, nope, this is just straight up forge first. I want cannons. Cannons are the best. Everyone knows. Everyone's done that thing where they're like, "All right, I think I know how I can win. I'm gonna play Protoss." And I'm only going to build cannons. They'll never get through my defenses. And so Jack's going to be able to scout that pretty soon. He'll get in there and see this forge before anything goes down. He's also going for the double gas, which is smart because cannons require zero gas. Um, so it's good to have the assimilators, but not to waste your time mining it. Because, uh, yeah, you definitely... You definitely need that gas for the cannon. So he will be putting down his first cannon. Jack will see that there are no gateways and that there is a cannon. And so he should just think like, lol, easy sauce, and put down an expansion because he knows that nothing in the world could hurt him right now. There's not going to be any kind of pain. He should scout around his map, make sure there's no any, no, no silly pylons going around. In fact, I think that's what he's going to be doing with his marine. Yeah, awesome. Very cool by Jack. Just making sure no cheeky stuff's going down. And finally getting his gateway up. If you look at this gateway, if you build it now, it's going to be done at five minutes. So that is a late gateway. Um, and all you really have to defend is this this cannon. And for those of you who don't know, cannons are actually really weak. They're only 300 health. Um, they can be killed pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, yeah. So Jack continuing to do the good old scouting with his SCV. He knows that there's nothing nothing hidden back there he will be able to spot this gateway so he knows the first gateway is going down he knows he can't possibly have anything else um, and still not building out of these assimilators I think that's a really weird choice by Dark Solo so we'll have to see how that works out for him and is he gonna build Zealot first? Nope! He's gonna build the Cybercore and he has... no that's Jack who has gas yeah, excuse me totally confused there Jack did build his refineries and he did put workers in them so that's very good and yeah now he's building a factory this is a perfect choice because tanks outrange cannons by a lot so I remember there was this day back in Brood War on fast as possible that I played against this player who filled his entire base up with with photon cannons just boom 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 everywhere photon cannons and I don't know if y'all played Brood War and if you played fast as possible but it was, you had a big, like, main base, and he filled it. And I was a little noob, and I was playing, um, I was playing Protoss as well, I believe. And I had no idea how to beat it. I tried building carriers, I tried everything. This was way back in my early days of StarCraft, and I had no idea what outranged cannons. I was like, nothing outrages cannons, it's invincible. And I didn't know about the Reaver which is basically the greatest unit of all time. And so I, uh... I ended up getting Reaver dropped in the back of my main, and since I only had one base, and I didn't have that many workers, 
he just came in, killed my uh, my Nexus and all my probes with like two Reavers, and then I lost because I couldn't get through his cannon defense. I was so mad. I was just like, oh, stupid cannons. But now, of course, I switched to Terran because I was like, screw that. I'm going to build tanks. As Jack is doing, I'm going to build siege mode, and I'm never going to have to worry about cannons ever again. And uh, Dark Soul has a nice little cannon, cannon uh, line going here. I do like that quite a bit. And, oh, look at this. It's going to be putting down the Stargate, two Stargates, in fact, so we will see Void Rays on the field. Jack is taking his expansion, so he won't have to worry about it at all, that at all. And uh, he's also getting his engineering bay up, so he will be able to put down those cannons. Also, he has a Banshee coming out, which is really interesting. This is a super late Banshee. I don't imagine it'll be too effective, seeing as Cloak is negated by the fact that Dark Soul has cannons. Um, however, he doesn't have any Stalkers or any Gateways, for that matter. Just one. So, Jack can send his one Banshee in here and harass the probes like crazy. And we do see that Dark Soul has opted to stop building probes. Um, that's okay, he does have 1700 minerals, so he doesn't really have to worry about that very much. Uh, and so now he will be producing his Void Rays. Or maybe he'll go Phoenix. I don't know why anyone would go Phoenix, but I suspect we'll see Void Rays. Also putting down more cannons, doubling up the line of defenses. Uh, while Jack just masses up a really good army in front of his base, I don't think he'll have to worry about anything at all. Despite the pro production, Dark Solo will be expanding. I think this is a good choice, just saying, screw it, I'm going to go Void Ray Cannon into Gold Base Expansion. Uh, and Jack very luckily flies by this with the Banshee, and will effectively shut it down 100%, as there is nothing on the field if we look in the Units tab, but 19 probes. Here at the 10 minute mark, Dark Soul only has 19 probes and no other units. He will have two Void Rays in the next 30, 10 seconds, something like that. But uh, yeah, no units. So, I don't know, maybe this strategy will work. Maybe not. Uh, Jack will be coming in with his Banshee and reducing the 19 probe count to probably a good 10. Uh, However, two of the Void Rays did finish, so they will be able to shut down this Banshee, unless he has Cloak, which he does not. He will be able to pick off three of these probes, really should be targeting them. Uh, could have gotten a fourth, maybe, but he will be pushed away with these Void Rays. However, uh, the damage is already done. Jack killed a few of his probes, and he saw the Void Rays, so now he's going, Marines! And he's just producing tons of Marines. He will be putting down two more Barracks, which is very wise, uh, and he does have this Reactor. And he's even getting a, a Viking up, so... Very, very smart by Jack. He knows he's dealt with Void Rays in the past. We've all lost to mass Void Rays, and so he's just like, all right, forget that. I'm just going to build turrets, medevacs, and marines. And seeing as my opponent only has four Void Rays and probes, basically I can just hard counter and not have to worry about anything in the entire world. Um, even getting an armory up might be trying to get some Thors out or upgrade his uh, turrets. Actually, no, that's in the engineering base. Excuse me. Maybe upgrade his uh, his Vikings. In the meantime, Dark Solo moving out with his death line of Void Rays. Gonna be oh, just barely passing Jack's army. Jack should be able to see and he should pull back at this time, but he's not. This is looking very bad for Jack as the Void Rays will be able to get into his base and do a lot of damage. However, luckily for Jack, he has not taken these refineries, so they will have to go straight for the probes. Uh, charging up on the probes. And now Void, uh, Jack, knowing this, is going to be like, oh shoot, and just pull everything back. He should not engage with these marines or this viking. He should wait. Uh, he is sending it in, which it will be picked off instantly. Boom, there it goes. And another viking coming in. Ooh, that viking goes away too, but... Luckily, Marines are the counter to every single unit in StarCraft, and so he will be able to push these away. He does not have Combat Shield, which he should get. Um, you can actually see the little Combat Shield on the Marines if you have Combat Shield. And so, hopefully, yeah, he will start that upgrade. He should be getting his plus one as well sometime. This will help a lot. Uh, and he's a little bit low on SCVs. He needs to make sure he's remembering to build SCVs out of both these command centers and continuing to make marines, which he is doing. Now he has a nice little ball of marines as well as a viking. In fact, 
we see 30 marines on the field two five or six void rays I believe six yeah six um, yeah and marines are really good against void rays for those of you who don't know or for those of you who have trouble against void rays just build a ton of marines and then if you just stem forward you can kill the void rays no problem easy sauce um, turret getting a little bit caught out of position uh, another one as well will be able to be picked off however Jack is moving in with his marines uh, one barracks looked like it could have gone down but luckily Jack's marines got here just in the nick of time and when you're going mass cannon void ray the best thing to do is take the expansion closest to your opponent actually the closest would be here um, so Dark Soul is going for a very fast written very fast a very close expansion and he's actually getting a pretty good number of Void Rays. He has two more coming in to reinforce. Viking flying around, actually taking this one down to some pretty low health. He must have just rallied him there. In fact, if we look at... No. Uh, maybe he just moved him instead of attack moved. You always want to A-click. Always A-click. Never, ever do anything but A-click. Ever. Jack um, is continuing to build Marines. It's just what you got to do. If you see Void Rays, you just got to build Marines. The Void Rays coming in, they will be caught out of position if they come into here. Because Jack will have Marines here, and he will have Marines here. Uh, I like that he split his force, although he is now moving his Marines away. This is going to be bad for Jack, as Dark Soul has opted to go into the natural. He will fly in here and pick off the command center. Actually, no, he decided to take out the turret instead. And uh, Jack doing some very nice repairing onto the command center. Now coming in with his Marines. He will be stemming forward, and these Void Rays are looking like they're in a lot of trouble they're all falling to the marine play and oh man there goes all the void rays jack's command center surviving due to some good response time some good repairing and now jack is going to push forward uh and try to attack seeing as dark soul only has two void rays and a ton of cannons he's kind of screwed i'd also like to see jack take a few more expansions he needs to remember to put these scvs back onto the mineral line um and yeah, oh, this is super smart by Jack. He scanned and he saw how close these Stargates were. So he said, I'm not going to push the front. Screw that. I'm just going to build a ton of tanks, siege them up back here, and use my Vikings to get vision. This is a very good move by Jack. And even though this is a really silly game with Void Rays, this kind of play is super smart. It works all the time. It's so obnoxious. We see this on the pro level on a lot of maps, like Shattered Temple, like, uh, like Metalopolis. This is just a general good play with tanks. So he will be able to pick off these two Stargates, as these Void Rays can really do nothing, and these cannons are way out of position. And just because he's a little bit scared of losing the Viking, he will scan just to get the extra bit of vision he needs in order to take out the Starport. And, uh-oh. Uh needs to move that Viking forward or do another scan. Dark Solo building another Stargate, because if Void Ray didn't work before, by God, you should try it again. Might work now. And uh, his his second base not quite saturated. Um, his main not quite saturated. In fact, a lot of void rays on the field. They will be able to pick that off. And now he's going to have to do the scan. He does do the scan, and the starport does go down. He really needs to unseize these tanks because the marines cannot range these void rays, um, and the tanks cannot shoot up. And so he will be taking a third expansion. I like this by Jack. Hasn't really needed that much money, however, um, he does now as his main is going to be mined out fairly shortly. And so he's just continuing to build marines, continuing to build tanks, I assume. He will be continuing to build tanks, or maybe a Thor. Thors are pretty awesome units. And so then he'll be scouting this gold base, hopefully, to make sure there is an expansion there. He should scout down here. Uh, he should scout up here as well, just to make sure... There's nothing. Just grab one Marine, stem him, and right-click on the mini-map. And, uh, yeah, it's free scout. So anyway, these siege tanks, I really don't like this now. Even though it was really good before, he really should unsiege them because they are very vulnerable. Even one Stalker here could pick him off as, uh, as he doesn't have vision. So he is doing some scans. He does see the large amount of photon cannons, and he thinks, all right, photon cannons, I can handle that. So he will be moving up, stimming, and trying to take them out. However, uh, well, the Void Rays aren't doing anything. Now just moving in for the first time, doing a lot of damage. First Zealots we see in the game, first ground units for Dark Solo. And Jack, who uh, 
looked like he could have won it is going to be pulling back. That's fine. That's a good decision. Might as well pull back and reinforce. No reason to push your luck. He really should have brought his tanks with him. He could have seized his tanks here and here. And he would have killed those cans a lot quicker. He would have done a lot better. Um, and so now, now Jack is going to be putting down even more barracks. Getting even more marines. Uh, because when you tech switch to zealots... Might as well keep going Marines. Marines are the best thing against Zealots. Uh, zealots just crumble the stemmed Marines. So now he's sieging up his tank. The tank is going to go down to these Void Rays, but the Void Rays look like they are almost caught out of position. Two of them are near death. So now Jack will be pushing forward, seeing as there aren't that many tanks left, and he does have this Viking to deal with the Void Rays a little bit better. We'll be trying to pick off a cannon when they're... Or a pylon when there are too many pylons. He really should just go for the cannons. And now three of the cannons... Oh no, they're unpowered. That was very nice by Jack. One of the cannons is left, and four Void Rays, as well as some Zealots, and Jack's army does go down. However, nothing to worry about, as uh, Protoss does not have any income, man. Look at that. 600 on two base. Not very good. Um, not even producing any more Void Rays, just making some Zealots. And I think Jack knows or realizes that he can't just have one base and be sustaining this. Uh, he's got to have two, so hopefully Jack will be sending his units over to this base or up to this base to scout around and see what's going on. Um, I like how he's kept some units up here to make sure nothing's nothing crazy is happening. I don't know why this tank is way out here. It is vulnerable to the Void Rays. But he's also working on getting that plus three attack and plus two armor, and so he will have a huge upgrade advantage as... Dark Soul has no upgrades at all, and so he will be moving back out with the Void Rays. Jack moving forward with the Marines as well. He should be able to siege a tank up and just scan and might be able to pick off a few cannons. The Void Rays moving towards Jack's base. However, he does have two Vikings and a lot of Marines, uh, so these Void Rays aren't going to be able to do much. He really should move down to the third as this third is completely vulnerable, absolutely nothing defending it. Uh, and so now the Void Rays coming into the engagement. The Marines are going to have to move forward. And yeah, pushing him back very successfully, and he has another force here, which should be able to catch these Vikings off guard, although if they fly a little bit to the north, they just might miss him. And yeah, Jack's not going to be able to see that or do anything about it, but that is fine as he does have a much bigger army. A lot of Marines, a lot of Vikings uh, should continue the tank production. Ah, look at this. We do have the first Thor coming out uh, for Jack. Thor sh should be able to outrange the the range is 6, I think it's like 8 or 9 for them, and some zealots coming in, Jack does see these zealots, and we'll pick them off very shortly, and now he's going to be moving down to this base to check out what's, what's going on down here, a lot of zealots down here, this might be bad, however he will be sieging this tank up on the, or down on the low ground, excuse me, not up on the low ground, and so yeah, he should be able to pick off these gateways without any trouble, because if he does send the zealots in, Jack can just move his marines back and this tank will do a lot of damage. Destroying the pylon, all three of these gateways are down. The Artosis pylon hurts a Protoss player once again. And now he will be moving his marines back, doing some good stutter stepping micro. Absolutely awesome by Jack. Even stimming. And uh, yeah, these, these zealots are just going to go down thanks to this tank and the wonderful stutter step micro by Jack. And now he can just run right into the base, kill all the probes, and that is GG for that base. So now if we look in the main, we do have the Thor, and I can check out the range. It is 7, uh, no, it is 10 for the air attack. Uh, so yeah, they will be able to outrange the Void Rays heavily. And uh, so Dark Soul is opting to build two more Stargates. Yeah, so when Void Rays haven't worked twice, try it a third time, third time's the charm. And this base will go down very easily, and... Uh, shouldn't be targeting that, shouldn't be targeting these Void Rays. The Void Rays are going to be able to clean up these Marines, but Void Rays are taking a lot of damage, man. 3-2 Marines are strong. So now he's only left with four of these guys. So now Jack will be moving forward. He doesn't even have any... You know, well, he has one tank, but he doesn't even need it. He's just going to push forward with Marines, push forward with his Thors. Thors just crushing everything, even having the Vikings into the mix once again. Once again, these weak little 150, 150 cannons are destroyed. And now Jack is in Dark Solo's base. This is looking horrible for Dark Solo. He's sending in his four Void Rays. 
but the Vikings are doing a lot of damage, and then when the Vikings go down, the Marines will be able to pick them off. One Void Ray goes down, two, three Void Rays all go down, and now Jack has essentially just won the game, as there's nothing Dark Soul can do. He can hope and pray for these two Void Rays to come out in time, but it won't be able to do much, and there Dark Soul leaves. Oh! Very nice, Jack. Very, very nice. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, I do love a good cheesy cannon into Void Ray play. Uh, and I like how you were able to deal with that. That is one of the biggest differences between staying in the in the Bronze League and then moving your way up into the Silver and Gold and Platinum is being able to deal with these really cheeky strategies like Void Ray pushes and Six Pools and stuff like that. Um, you know, you can still get beat by them, but they don't happen very often in the higher leagues. And the reason they don't happen very often is because players have just gotten really good at defending against that sort of thing. And they would rather go for a more economic game than uh, just six pool and then cross your fingers. So, but, it, but when one of these players comes up and does something like this, it's always a lot of fun because you're like, Oh, I've dealt with the six pool before. I'll just stomp it. Um... And then you know it is a free win. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sending me this replay, Jack. Continue to send them along. I do enjoy casting them and watching them. And, yeah. There will be more to come. So, please check out my channel. I'm doing analysis series. Uh, Diary of a Terran Player, I'm calling it. And I'm trying to improve the quality of that. So, if you guys would watch that and give some comments, give some advice, I would, I would much appreciate it. Uh, the other thing is there will be a team league that I will be casting, sc2clans.org. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You can get your group, you can get a group of friends together and sign up, and then each week you play games against each other. There are rules on the website, which is sc2clans.org, sc2clans.org. Uh, so check that out. Excuse me. And yeah, that's really all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment. Please like it uh, or dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, I, I want you to, you guys to be honest. Be honest. Let me know what I can do to be better, to be awesome. I want to make this an enjoyable, ex uh, whoa, an enjoyable experience for everyone. So anyway, I've talked for too long. 27-minute game plus some rambling at the end. So I will see you guys later.